so I was taking a walk the other day. You know, sometimes we're in this point of our training camp life or whatever where we just waiting on regular football, right? And we just sitting around the sitting around the phone. We on Twitter just hitting refresh, trying to get more updates and you know, everybody has a certain battle in particular that they're waiting to hear updates on. Y'all tell me which battles that is in um in the chat box if you will. Um, I've been really interested in left guard and center, you know, because once you understand who's playing left guard and center, then you can kind of fill the rest of your offensive line bracket out, you know. Um, but, you, you know, we've been hearing a lot of things about what's been going on, you know, in, in terms of, you know, training camp and lining guys up. You know, I heard one day like Connor Williams was playing center and Connor McGovern was playing left guard, which was interesting because if anything, I would imagine that Connor McGovern would be the one that gets snaps at center on account that when he was in Penn State his sophomore year, he played an entire year at center. So he has the center experience. But no, they, they were talking about Connor McGovern. Now, um, I love Joe Looney, right? I mean, I kind of like Joe Looney a little bit, but I love Joe Looney. And um, what's interesting is, you know, he's been getting the start. I understand that. And, you know, it, it kind of makes sense for him to get the start because he's the veteran, so to speak, you know, so kind of let him get his reps in. But, you know, the Cowboys have always drafted offensive line. And when they drafted them, they just kind of toss those guys in the fire. I would love for us to throw Tyler Biotish in a little bit of fire, right? Not, not that he's better than anybody or that he would be better than Connor McGovern or even better than Joe Looney. I don't know. But, you know, it's just something about offensive line. I just like to get that process started, man. Um, you know, CD is going to be in some fire. Uh, I think Neville Galmore is going to have a fair shot of getting his reps in. I definitely think Diggs is going to be in the game at some point uh, to some extent. Um, I, hey, man, throw Tyler in there as well. You know, I always talk about, you know, my my dream future setup, right? With that being, you know, Tyron Smith one day saying, hey, man, I'm tired. <laughs> I'm 30, whatever. You know what I'm saying? I've played 30 years in the league because, you know, Tyron Smith been in the league since he was 17 years old, some crazy number like that. Uh, but when Tyron leaves, then Connor Williams would be your left tackle. McGovern would be your left guard, and Tyler Biotis would be your center. And what I like about that is that you get really powerful in the middle. If any, if, if you can hide anybody, you can hide your centers, right? Like like most teams got centers, and they're not really powerful guys, right? Um what you get from a lot of uh, teams that have centers that aren't powerful, they just kind of hide them amongst the guards. Uh, and Joe Looney is a center that I would consider as a guy that's not powerful, that he kind of hides amongst the guards, right? Um, but if Tyler was your center in which he's a guy that, that plays with power and Connor McGovern is another guy that plays with power and then, you know, Zach Martin is at the right guard. We know how he gets down. You know, you just got a – powerful ass front you know what i'm saying you just really really can't beat that with a stick if if that's gonna be the front that that you end up rolling with then you're strong up the middle you know you're you're you know you don't have to worry about hiding guys anywhere you know like like if it was a combo situation ooh, he ain't look too strong right there <laughs> wait a minute did he get tripped up did he get tripped up all right cool he got tripped up <laughs> Boy, how whack would it have been if I was calling if I was calling Tyler Biotis all powerful and strong and he got whooped. Ah, right, he got tripped up. Never mind. <clears throat> What was I saying though? Yes, um, it, it, I, I just I just like having offensive line powerful up the middle, um, you know, so you can kind of uh, you can kind of uh, negate those big strong one text that you that you uh, you know that you have nightmares about or those zeros. But that's future future, right? That's after Tyron gets tired and Connor Williams resigns for cheap and he's you know on a team friendly deal <laughs> and all that good stuff. And you know we're at the end of uh, Biotish and uh, Connor McGovern's contract type situation right that's kind of what i want the future to be but as of now i don't you know if we're gonna have joe looney in there we might as well have tyler in there because i think you kind of got you're kind of gonna get the same thing power wise right you know joe looney was a very serviceable center when he was playing center he was very serviceable don't get me wrong man but i just i'll never forget when we was playing the rams in the playoffs and indomitian and sue just picked him up and dropped him on top of zeke it just made me sick and it happened because aaron donald was on the other side so we had to you know occupy multiple blocks on aaron donald so it just kind of left you know 
center Joe Looney one on one with Indomitian and Sue, and it got bad for him. <laughs> it got bad for brother Joe Looney, right? I don't think that happens with a with a center that's powerful. You know, with a with a guy that got a little more power in his anchor. Am I saying Tyler Biotis is going to be that guy year one? No, but if Tyler and Joe Looney are going to be the same level of powerful dude at this point in Tyler's career, then you get upside for Tyler getting better next year. You see what I'm saying? Because he would have, you know, time under his belt. I just really like Joe as a as a swing interior guy, as a guy that plays back up center and sometimes guard. I really like Joe in that role, you know. You know, if it's a situation where it's more so about lining guys up, then I get that. You know, if if Joe just has the the information, he just has the knack in his mind for, okay, we know how to identify formations. We're going to line people up. We're going to identify mics and things like that. If Joe Looney has the advantage there, then cool. This is an interesting play. They're running a jet sweep, but the middle of the offensive line is running screens, but the left side of the offensive line is running outside zone. Boy, is that strange. <clears throat> anyway, um, yes. So I mean, like, if it was up to me, I'm, I'm, I'm just kind of putting Tyler right there, man. I'm, I'm, I'm putting Tyler right there, and I'm just letting him rock. I'm letting him get his bumps and bruises, man. I mean, it, it happened to Connor. It happened to Zach. It happened to you know Travis when he was outside playing with us. You know, Tyrant got played immediately. Leo got played immediately. Love. So you know, let's just keep this thing moving. How about this though? Let's watch this play, right? Let's take a look at your center right here. One thing Joe Loney's really good at is his movement, right? What I like about Tyler is that Tyler is powerful guy, but he also has that movement take a look at your center right here man he's gonna pull he's gonna get outside he's gonna just log number nine up man great job right there so we know that we have movement in tyler and i, I guess that's one of the reasons why people kind of compare him to travis frederick a little bit right you're powerful enough to maintain the middle um he's making his calls in wisconsin so we know that he's smart enough to make calls and things like that i mean just just take a look at him navigate for a little bit man let's just watch him navigate you know what i'm saying um we know he can do those things but can he move watch right if you if you watch enough wisconsin tape y'all should go back and watch my other tyler biotis film session like the official when it first came out tyler biotis film session go watch that one um and it'll 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 show you a lot of plays of Tyler pulling, getting in open space, and blocking linebackers, blocking corners and safeties, uh, whooping Chase Young when he had to pull and um and and kick the DN. You know he was putting hands all over Chase Young. You know what I'm saying? So so if y'all want to go back and watch that, uh, please do so. But. Yeah, man, I'm not worried about Tyler's strength. I'm not worried about his movement. If there's anything, you know, we just got to worry about him making the calls and getting experience. Take a look at his awareness right here. Take a look at your center, Tyler Biotis. He's going to get eyes on 43. And um, and this, you know, what is this? This uh, two tech here. Watch this. Well, he's lined up more of a, yeah, he's kind of in a three. Let's just, let's just call him B-gap guy right here. So we're going to run this slowly. Boom, boom, boom. 43 is going to go up A-gap. 74 is going to go in B-gap. And then we're going to get AJ Epinesa all the away from the outside he's gonna cross and end up in tyler uh tyler biotis lane right there but tyler's gonna pass 43 along pick up 94 and just keep that thing moving man aware football player so we ain't worrying about football iq from tyler biotis tyler's a smart guy man um and you know the reason i'm kind of revisiting these guys first of all i had to you know kidnap three people to finally get some film some 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 extra film but you know i just think it's interesting to come back and watch these guys with a little more context it's always fun and um steven jones was on 105.3 the fan yesterday and they was asking him man you know what what's the center battle look like with um tyler and joe loney you know is it like a foregone uh, conclusion that Joe Looney's going to be the guy? And Stephen Jones like, nah, man, they 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 battling Conor McGovern, not Conor McGovern. Um, Tyler Biotis is out there fighting for his spot. He fighting for his right to party. You know what I'm saying? So. I would be thrilled, you know, if 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 you know we can we can you know get the young guy in there, let him you know get his feet a little wet and just let him learn on the fly, man. Let him learn on the fly. It ain't gonna hurt nobody. I think he's good enough to handle it. I think he's strong enough in the middle. Um, he's gonna have some good help with Zach Martin to his uh, to his right. He's gonna have some pretty cool help <laughs> with Connor Williams to his left. I think that'll be fun to kind of see how that works out. Um, but. 
Tyler versus Connor's movement can be really fun in terms of outside zone stuff, climbing the second level, running screens and pulling like that. Connor, Connor Williams, if he's good at anything, his ass can move. And Tyler is another mover as well. So, uh, oh, look at him. Look at him getting to the second level. Look at it. Look at this draw right here. Second level, second level. Boom, 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 boom. Dig turn. You, you look, man, you notice whenever whenever Biotis engages with guys, he always gets some turn, man. He always gets some turn. He just creates an extra gap for the running back, man. It's top tier stuff right there, Ty. It's top tier stuff right there. Anyway, <clears throat> um, what else do I have to say about Tyler Biotis, man? I, I just hope he wins the battle, man. I'm just I'm just excited for him, man. He's just a guy that I've um, you know, I've just had had eyes on in the, the draft process or whatever. And I just didn't didn't think Dallas was gonna draft center because Connor McGovern um was gonna be a center for us in my mind Connor McGovern was going to be our center but like I say every year man you just just draft the offensive line every single year here, here goes um, Tyler Pullen again um every single year draft draft O-line draft O-line and people don't like how that sounds why are we draft the O-line every year well you could tell by your um by your training camp now you can never have too many offensive linemen plus I mean offensive line is like 40 something percent of your offense man and it's all comprised of different positions and a lot of the times those positions can't play the other positions right you know i mean tyron smith can't play center you know what i'm saying i mean he can but you don't want tyron smith playing center or anything like that you know what i'm saying so draft an offensive lineman every year whether it be a center guard or a tackle because you never know when you're gonna need those guys man you never know great catch you never know when you're gonna need those guys all right I ain't want to hold y'all too long, man. I just really wanted to get my thoughts on Tyler and just kind of run a little bit of film. It's always good to revisit and rehash and, you know, just, uh, you know, you know, check back up on you guys because it's one thing to watch um, film on Tyler Biotis and he could be anybody's player. You know, then it's even better to watch Tyler Biotis as a cowboy. Then you get a little more context on Tyler Biotis and you watch him even more to just, you know, super break him down a little bit, man. So, um... Hey man, start my son Tyler Biotis. <laughs> start my son Tyler Biotis. We can go ahead and get his journey going, so we can get his feet up under him, uh, so he can start uh, smoking the hell out these zeros and one takes. Right? The best thing for him is is to uh, go against Dontari Poe in practice, and that's just facts. I ain't want to hold y'all too long, man. V O C H L O N B A R D I on Twitter and all my other little situations is all Vach Lombardi. Um, like this thing comment subscribe all that good stuff hit the notification bell so you know when i drop random film session in the middle of the week just like this the football season is right around the corner you know we do the best post game shows over on this channel right here all right so y'all be tuned to be tuned to sure and be sure to tune in uh at, after the games or whatever and um you know get my post game analysis and all that all right y'all hold it down for the doski woski peace man salute